for today's recipe, we're doing a gourmet style sea cucumber with abalone and Chinese mushrooms. Sea cucumber used to be only served to emperors in the olden days. You'll be proud to make this special dish for your family and friends. Today we're doing an exotic uh, recipe, we're doing sea cucumber. So we're going to check out the uh, varieties of sea cucumber in the store behind me. Sea cucumber is a marine animal. It's a very expensive delicacy in Chinese cooking since ancient times. The most expensive sea cucumbers cost hundreds of dollars. These are the ones kept in the jars along the shelves. Now you can order the products and ingredients that I use in my cooking videos. Just click the link below in the description for the Chinese cooking accessory guide. So these are sea cucumber. So these ones are dried. So just put the sea cucumber into a jar or a pot if you like. The next day you're going to rinse the uh, water out, put some more cold water. This is the uh, sea cucumber which has been soaking in the water for seven days. So every day you change the water and put more cold water in there. So after seven days, the three uh, sea cucumber that we have are huge. Just look at this. They're huge. So these are the same size as the ones that we started on day one. So I'm going to put it into a larger uh, pot because it won't fit in this jar anymore. So you look at the uh, three of them, there's this size. And then here are the three original dry ones. And this is what they look like right now. Look how big that is. This one particular one is about a foot long. So after you cut the uh, sea cucumber lengthwise, you get rid of the uh, guts and all the, uh, the uh, impurities in the middle. Now we're going to boil the uh, sea cucumber. So you put the uh, sea cucumber in the boiling water. So what I have here is two pieces of ginger, about thumb size. So put the ginger into the water. So when you put the ginger into the water, the ginger will pick up any impurities. Uh, it's uh, good for boiling uh, sea cucumber. So sometimes the ginger will actually turn black if there's uh, poison or impurities in there. So it's been about 15 minutes right now. We're going to take the uh, sea cucumber out. So we're going to rinse it in cold water one more time and uh, give it one more soak overnight if you like. Or you can just uh, rinse it out in cold water or just soak it for a little while and then uh, cook on the same day. So these are the ingredients you need for this dish. We have some Shanghai bok choy, and then we have some sliced ginger, whole cloves of garlic, whole Chinese mushrooms. We've got some abalone, some Chinese sea cucumber, and some sliced lean pork. So we have some uh, Chinese mushrooms here. So you soak the mushrooms overnight. Sometimes you can soak it for less, but usually it's a good idea to soak it overnight. So we have uh, six uh, fairly large Chinese mushrooms. So just cut up the uh, ginger like this. So you got about two or three tablespoons of ginger. So these are the fresh abalone. So they actually cook a lot faster than the dried kind. So uh, these ones, you can take a knife and just cut it. It comes out really easy. So you have to cut off this piece. So when you cut it, just cut this piece off. So actually you don't even need to use a knife. I just pulled it right out. So you pull that right out like that. And then you, and then just take that part out. It comes up pretty easy. So I used to work with uh, fresh abalone a long time ago. I worked in a seafood restaurant. I was a seafood chef. And I retired from uh, cooking at age 21. So many years ago and I learned to cook uh, abalone and different kind of seafood. So here you have the clean abalone so if you look on the back side it's all clean up and on the front it's like uh, this also clean. So you see this uh, sea cucumber 
We're gonna keep the pieces fairly large. Uh, say bite-sized pieces, about an inch. So cut it lengthwise, and then cut it again. Roughly like that. You got the sea cucumber in the boiling water. We're gonna let it simmer for half an hour to an hour. So we'll check on the texture. We had some of these uh, sea cucumber recently. So each batch uh, cooks differently. I've got a wok here going at medium heat. I'm gonna put about three tablespoons of cooking oil in there. I'm gonna put in the uh, ginger. And I've got uh, some whole cloves of garlic. You can put as many as you want. This is the aromatic to bring out the flavor in the recipe here. So I'm going to pump the heat up to high now. Add a little more oil to the wok for the pan. I'm going to put the lean pork in now. Get a good sear going there. So you don't want to overcook your pork, so I'm going to take it off when it's about 75% uh, cooked. So the pork right now is cooked about three quarter way through, so I'm going to take it off. So I got the uh, beef stock here. I'm making uh, another recipe for beef noodle soup. If you don't have beef stock or any kind of chicken stock, you can just use water. So each ladle... So I'll put about two ladles of that in there. So that's about maybe a three quarter cup. I'll put about three ladles in there. That's about three quarter cup there. So in the beef stock I've got some star anise. I've got some dried uh, Chinese lemon peel. I've got soy sauce in there so it gives an added flavor so when you use this stock uh, in finishing the dish it's a lot better than just putting in uh, just plain water. So I'm going to put the uh, Chinese mushrooms in there. So I'm going to keep them whole, that's more for presentation. But you can also cut, cut the uh, mushrooms up into uh, smaller pieces if you like. I'm gonna add. I'm gonna add some more flavor here. Add another, say, uh, tablespoon of light soy sauce. Add a teaspoon of sesame oil. I'm gonna add a couple tablespoons of oyster flavor sauce. So the broth has fairly salty already, so you don't need to add any more salt here, unless you want more salt, that's up to you. So I'm going to keep it at medium heat. So I've got uh, two tablespoons of cornstarch in a half a cup of water. So I'm just going to thicken the sauce here right now. I don't need all that uh, cornstarch. I, I could just put in uh, put in about a tablespoon. There. So I had some extra just in case. So now I'm gonna put in the pork back in. It's cooked three quarters of the way through. I'm gonna add the abalone. So if you feel the uh, sauce is, is, if you feel that you need some more sauce, I'm going to add some more broth here. So I'm going to put another ladle full. The uh, sea cucumber now. So 
So mix that all in. I think I have enough here for about two restaurant size orders here. So if you go to a restaurant, it's going to cost you $100 for this place here. Just blanch some Shanghai bok choy in boiling water for a minute or two. So there you have it, gourmet style, sea cucumber with abalone and Chinese mushrooms. Enjoy. Thanks for checking out my video. Please like, subscribe, and comment. And thanks for your continued support.